today we're going to look at the art of a person that I'm taking a class from, David K. Lobenberg, and you can take the class too. Let's get started. So this is what David looks like in real life, and we're going to see him doing his own self-portraits, and he uses what he calls the style is California vibe, and as soon as you see the colors, you'll see why. Now, I'm taking this online class, and it's a class you can take at your own pace, so it's something that you can just uh, purchase, and there he is. <laughs> um, Anyway, you can purchase it, at, like I said, go at your own pace, and you own the curriculum, so you can go back over and over and over again. There's also a great chat that goes with the class if you want to join that. So let's look at his California vibe. First of all, look at the angle. You know, go underneath your subject. Go across your subject. Look down at your subject. You know, he really is pushing the limits of, of what we think of as portraiture, when we think of, you know, that typical hands on the lap, uh, when you, especially when you think of royal portraits, there's a certain uh, iconic way that portraits are done, and he breaks that here. The other thing that he's doing is he is not wedded to the color of flesh. You don't see a flesh tone at all. Here he is using the color of flesh, but, you know, he's stretching that hair into all different kinds of dark violets and... Um, and blues. He's very, um, one of the things that he talks about a lot is the thickness and thinness of paint, which is very helpful. And the other thing, of course, he talks about value and composition. I mean, the things that we always talk about. The things that really stood out for me, though, were the viscosity of the paint, how thick or thin it is, and um, something that I talk about on my channel, this channel, which is that you, um, using different kinds of triads, that you drop the paint in with a loaded brush, and then don't rub or uh, try to blend it in any way. So it does mean that you have to be a pretty decisive painter. Now we're getting into some of the portraits where he uses an underlying pattern underneath. I haven't explored this yet, and you can just begin to see it there. Um, there's some others that show it uh, a little bit more clearly, and the thumbnail definitely did too. He's interested in pattern as well as texture, there, you can see that there was an underlying pattern that he had established. You know, you can almost see that it's geometric. So he prepares that before he puts the portrait on top of it. It's just incredibly clever and adds a certain amount of energy that I think is fascinating. Oh, I know what I wanted to say before. The other thing that he's, that's very clear about what he does or what he talks about is warm and cool colors. And it's taken me such a long, wow, look at the pattern in that. Holy smokes. So it's taken me a really long time to... Um, understand warm warm and cold. Of course, I know that warm colors tend to be um, yellows and oranges and reds, you know, the fire side, and that the cool colors are uh, violets, blues. But using them to turn a form is something that I've been aware of for a long time. But when it came to faces, I was really wedded to Try, there, there you can see the pattern a little bit more clearly. I was really wedded to getting those skin tones correctly. This frees you from that. And for me, who tends to be a value-shaped painter, as I call myself, that's just that's exactly where I want to be. I don't want to be thinking that much about color. It's more that I think about shape and, um, and value. And he really pushes values. I mean, he goes all the way from the white of the paper to as dark as you can possibly get. Now, he gets those really dark darks, by using a very thick paint. He, as he use, calls it cream, I think, no, butter. He calls it butter. Yeah, I do too. I think a lot of watercolor painters do, that we talk about tea, strength, milk, cream, and butter. Uh, it's interesting that we all use those terms. It makes me think about baking, and you know how interested I am in baked goods. Oh, now he's also doing an online class, online class right now, but I think it's, I think it's a live class. But So go to his website, David K. Lobenberg, um, and uh, he's doing landscape, so he, he doesn't just do portraits. He's, I think that's what he's best known for, but um, you can certainly learn a lot from him, no matter what subject you decide you want to paint. So um, I've been really influenced by taking that class. I find it fascinating, and I'm having a lot of fun. So go and look him up. It's California Vibe. You can get there by Googling California Vibe, or you can get there by looking for David K. Lobenberg, and, um, and have fun. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paint sweat, and as for value, mix for color, please join my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.